You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry, we are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a 501c3 nonprofit ministry, so all of your gifts to this ministry are tax deductible. So go out to our website, www.whenchristianspeak.com, and click on our donation page. Adoration is defined as an intense admiration of the Lord Jesus Christ, culminating in our reverence and worship of Him. Our broadcast is dedicated to exploring the many ways we show our adoration in prayer, supplication, thanksgiving, praise, worship, dance, song, missions, outreach, and Bible study. In adoration, we come before our Lord to have frank and compelling conversation with believers who embody the act of uncompromising appreciation for how the Lord provides for us and to reverence the very essence of who he is. We invite our listeners to sojourn with us to the throne of grace each month and continue to draw nigh to our Savior in love through our adoration. Wanna be more like you, Jesus? I wanna be more like you. I wanna be a vessel you work through. I want to be more like I 
want to be more like I want to be more like you. Our Father and our God, we thank you for giving us this opportunity once again to be in your presence. For your word says that in your presence, there's fullness of joy. And we are full of joy tonight. We are full of praise and full of adoration as we celebrate you, Lord God, through this interview tonight, O oh God. For all those who are listening, Father, we just ask that you would bless them that they would be motivated and encouraged to incline their ear to hear what you are saying through our conversation. And that in the midst of everything, oh God, that you would be glorified in the heavens as your people who are listening, whether it's tonight or beyond tonight, will be edified in the earth. We thank you, Lord God, for the opportunity to share and to minister. We thank you, O oh God, for the avenue of When Christians Speak Talk Radio that allows us to be able to have conversation with those who are doing the work of ministry in so many different and unique ways. We thank you for our guest tonight, O oh Lord. And we pray that she is encouraged, that she is inspired, and that she be lifted up because of this opportunity to share tonight. We love you, oh God, and we thank you in Jesus' name, amen. And welcome, my beloved, to Adoration. I am honored to be your host. <laughs> <laughs> this is Evangelist Mac, and tonight, as always, uh, I am so ecstatic to have a guest with us who I'm not going to throw it all out there right now because I'm going to set this thing up properly, and you can hear her already laughing in the background. I already told her that we are free tonight, so, um, but... I want to take care of a little bit of house business. And so just really quickly, I need to let you all know that um, my nonprofit organization, Thirst No More Corporation, is in the midst of doing a fundraiser for the children of Guatemala. It's actually under the title of Shoes for Schools Guatemala 2020, and the effort involves uh, being able to raise $3,000, which will then go to a shoemaker in Guatemala who is going to hand make 150 pairs of shoes for our students that are in an area of Guatemala called Chiquimula. And what will happen is that uh, at the beginning of the school year, which is actually in January for them, we will present them with this new footwear, which is made to be able to uh, handle the rough terrain of the Guatemalan roads. And they are tough. As many of you all know, I now live in Guatemala most of the year. So... We want to make sure that, number one, we're blessing the economy, which is why we're not shipping shoes over. We're having them handmade right in Guatemala so that they can be delivered to our children. And our children, even though many of them are coming from impoverished situations, will be able to walk into their classrooms with a sense of accomplishment and of pride, knowing that someone or someones in the United States and beyond actually care enough about them to contribute. So for those of you all that are interested, um, each pair of shoes 
runs about $20 per child, and that covers the expense of creating the shoes, of having them then delivered. So everything is encompassed in that. So that's where we got the $3,000 goal. I will tell you, as of today, we're about halfway to that goal, which we need to have completed by October 31st of this year to be able to have the shoes made and ready for them at the beginning of the year, right after the holidays. So if you want to join along with us, you can simply go out to my nonprofit website, which is at www.thirstnomorecorp.org, and you can go on to the project tab and the donate tab in order to be able to give a contribution. There is no amount that's too small for every dollar is useful in the service of our young people. So if you feel inclined to do so, please help us out. Now, with that said, tonight I have the privilege and honor of introducing to some of you all and maybe just reminding you that this wonderful woman of God is still around and existing and is available, that tonight we have with us a radio personality, producer, master interviewer, and beyond that, (laughs) just a fine and upstanding woman of God. And so without further ado, let us welcome Tia LaVon to the Adoration Broadcast. Hello, Tia. Hello. Look, I'm trying to wait to to see this person. I want to meet this person. You introduce her. You (laughs) you say in those amazing amazing things. I I got an introduction. I'm feeling good. Thank you for having me. Let me tell you something. Uh, The introduction is just beginning. So listen up. So there's a little bit more to this introduction for our Adoration Broadcast listeners. So first (laughs) of all, what the person that I have online and her, again, her name is Tia LaVon and she is currently working out of Raleigh, Durham with the light 103.9 F. M. Yep. And she yep. is doing her thing. But hey. the way I know her, <laughs> see, <laughs> see, Tia Levon, we don't we don't just read out bios here because I normally have a personal relationship with the people that I get a chance to interview. Right. So right. We're gonna yeah. take out adoration folks. We're gonna take them into the real uh way that we know each other. So, we are connected, you and I, in two different directions. So, the first direction Mm -hmm. is that my cousin, Dayon Cadness. Yes, my godmother, yes. Yes, your godmama, and she has been rolling with your mom, Talita, for more years than I have. Am allowed to actually mention on air. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please don't get us both in trouble. Please don't. <laughs> don't yes. do that. <laughs> yes. yes, but but suffice it to say, no matter how many years that is, I'm telling yeah. you, both Dayon and your mom are looking good. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh oh yeah yeah. They they really are. I mean I. No, have known day on since I've been in the world. So <laughs> that should tell yeah. you right there. She's been uh, my mother's best friend, her closest friend for a long time. Yeah. And get this. So that even connects us in another way because I as well have known day on all my life. Because <laughs> <laughs> she beat me in this world about four years. <laughs> uh, see? That's right. So, um, but that that's one connection. And 
Um, yes. Then I found out that there's another connection, and I never realized this until I forget. I can't remember when it actually came up, but somehow or another, I realized that you are the cousin of my goddaughter. Yes, yes. Asia, my cousin. Yes, she's so beautiful. Yes. Yes. And I'm like, what is this? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, because it's a small world. That's what it is. <laughs> I can tell sure, you that right it there. Sure it is. It sure is. And and the thing is, it's like I. I mean, Asia has been my heart forever. Mm-hmm. And um, um, I I never knew all those years that um we've been hanging out. I never knew. That there was a connection, and, and now I remember how I realized that there was connection because it was the last time that I actually uh, physically saw you, which was at uh, Mike and Quinique's wedding. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. We, and we connected the dots, and it was mm-hmm. like, what? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I did not know that. That was crazy when we talked about that. Yes, and so. I was like, oh my goodness. And then to um, be able to then follow your career and to see uh, what you've been up to and and now some other new things that have just really uh, popped into your horizon, which we'll talk about in a moment. And I can tell our audience now that um, the the young woman that we have with us tonight it's so talented and so oh, gifted and so special. And tonight I I'm paying him very her. well to say these things, by the way. Yes. <laughs> like, no. yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. And it wasn't a check either, y'all. It was cold. It was cold cash. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, hey, by the way, my, my cash app is available for anybody that wants it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> look, look, you are just telling yeah. them. I don't know. That's right. That's right. But you know what? On the real tip, uh, Tia Levon, is that um, so often we are only presented with negativity when it comes to what young people are doing in their lives and and mm-hmm. even society's view of uh, the younger adults that are really, you know, setting up the stage to take over. And, mm-hmm. you know, to be able to be on air tonight and to have a conversation with a woman who is on the move in the right way and just – presenting an image for Christian women, for women in business, for, and and I don't even want to limit it to women, but to put people in general, to be able to be young and gifted and saved and to to handle your business and to do it in a very public forum is, is something that we really want to celebrate because so many times, we hear about the horror stories of people mm-hmm. just uh, losing sight of the, the, the real prize and, and going after the things of the world and forgetting about mm-hmm. the way God has blessed us and how he keeps us in his perfect peace. And then we have you, my sister, who is handling your business like none other. So I just wanted <laughs> to give you a shout out to celebrate thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Yes. I appreciate so, that. I really do. And, you know, uh, Tia Levon, I've also realized that tonight is a little bit of a change for you because normally yeah. you're on mm-hmm. the other side of this conversation asking the questions. Yeah. But tonight, yeah. 
I get to have a little bit of fun and yeah. um <laughs> Take it easy on me now, Mac. Take it I'm a, easy I'm, on me. <laughs> I'm, you know what? It's going to be all right. It's going to be real. It's going to be righteous, and it's going to be correct. So, all right. <laughs> you know, there's no better way than to really kick things off than for you to just share with us, just for a moment, where it all began for you, like, However, whatever that means to you, like um, whether that's, you know, with your uh, Christian experience or just within the family, really, who are you, Tia LaVon? Hmm. That's a that's a big question, Mac. I said take it easy. Remember? It's like, no. <laughs> oh, 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 um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but if I had to answer that, uh, who's Tia Levon? I would have to say uh, Tia Levon is a daughter, a mother, a sister, um, a friend, a wife. I am a, a woman who is, imper- is is not perfect, is a work in progress has her good days, has her bad days, but every day I'm thankful and I thank God that that is me through and through. I (laughs) I would have to say that's the best way I can give you a glimpse of who exactly I am. Yeah. And, um, And to some, you know, I am hilarious, funny, and all that good stuff. And to others, I am quiet and a a deep thinker and thoughtful. Just depend on which day you catch me, you know. (laughs) I see. (laughs) So into that mix, um, tell us a little bit about what home life was like uh, just growing up and, you know, uh, how – your father and your mother uh, set the atmosphere for you and your brother and, and, and whatever you want to share within that context. Oh man. Ah, life for me. Well, uh, I'm the baby uh, in my house. Uh, I've always been the baby. Look, I'm a grown woman and I still refer to myself as the baby. (laughs) So that should tell you. That should tell you right there. Uh, but I That's mean, right. and my my older brother, um, just growing up, my my parents definitely instilled a deep sense of spirituality in us. Um, just just making sure that we knew that well, no matter where we are, God is with us, and just showing the importance of, of prayer and connection, and really, I, that right there is is was such a vital lesson that they taught me and I was able to carry that with me every day you know and, and through it all good and bad times and really I, I owe it to them the upbringing that they gave me where I am today because I still lean on those things that they didn't think I was listening to <laughs> well I was yeah, and yeah. they came up later <laughs> so, <laughs> so really I I definitely have to say that that foundation, that 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 deep rooted spirituality, and you know that accountability, you know that being honest with myself, all of that is just is something that I can attribute to them, and I just keep trying to to hold to make them proud every day, even now <laughs> as an adult. Oh. Believe me, I can't speak for your dad, but but I can tell you, your mama's real proud, and 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 oh, I, yeah. I'm gonna just give, I'm gonna give a quick plug because she has been plugging this broadcast today. Let me tell <laughs> you, she's my manager. See, that's what people don't know. <laughs> see, she's my she's my manager. She she just gave herself that role, and you know, I'm with it. We we run with it. That's that's my right hand right there. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, she's my all. biggest fan. So uh, just uh, for anyone who is just joining us, this is the Adoration 
program on the When Christians Speak Talk Radio Network. We are privileged and honored to have with us our special guest tonight, Tia LaVon, who is a radio personality, producer, extraordinaire on The Light, which is 103.9 FM in Raleigh, Durham. And so, Tia LaVon, the yes, next question right. that I, I have for you is, you know, we talked about the, the family atmosphere, but because, yes. you know, this is Christian, this is a Christian network, I always have to ask this question. How did you come into your own understanding of Christ? And when did you know that you were saved, sealed, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit? Hmm. Well, you know, growing up, I grew up with my church, New Hope Free Will Baptist Church. Going to plug that in there, D.C. You know, that's my hometown. (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, my grandmother was very deeply rooted in the church. You know, my mother was always, always bringing bringing me and my brother to church and I was all I was exposed to you know the word in Christ very early you know and understanding that God is in control of all things my parents always told me that they were all they didn't sugarcoat nothing my father that is not his his (laughs) mo anybody who knows him (laughs) knows that you know he he taught me very well very bluntly you know, who was in control, and, you know, I will say, I think when, for me, I would have to say, when I got, um, I got baptized, I would say, right before I went to college, and, uh, you know, my mother, my mother was, like, asking me what did I want to do, and I I brought it to her. I wanted to go ahead, and I wanted to do that. That was important to me before I ventured off, you know, into the world, so I did that, and to be truly on my own, you know, and not, and, you know, because I went to school out of, you know, out of state, and, you know, to be truly on my own and to go through certain things that you go through when you're growing up and you think you're grown, but you're not grown, you're <laughs> actually still growing, you know, all those yeah. things, including heartbreak and all that and all that. And and to always and continuously have God be with me through it all and to, as to have my own, you know, testimony. I've been you know, delivered through, you know, a a very bad car crash where, you know, I was hit by park police and uh, just minding my own business, trying to take my mother home and got Mm -hmm. hit and caught the the, the cars totaled. My mother and I walk away with, you know, sprains and just a few bruises, you know, and, and I can, they, they ask me, they see the car and people say, how did that, how did y'all just walk away just with that? And I tell them, you know, because we have a purpose, you know, God is real. And I would say in that moment, um, around that time period when, you know, when you're in that college age and all of that happened to me, it was like, it reassured me and it really gave me an understanding of the purpose and the anointing that was placed on my life and and, and how, what I needed to do and, and to pick up the ball and run with it. Wow. <clears throat> That's incredible. So if I were to ask you, and, and normally I, I probably would wait until – we were later into our chat. But if I were to ask you right now, because we just know that there's someone out there that's listening that maybe needs to be encouraged, maybe they're considering uh, making a decision to try Christ, what would you tell them based upon your own experience? I'm sorry, you, you were breaking up. I apologize. I was trying to tell you. Oh. Can you. Can you repeat that? Oh, no worries. No worries. Can you hear me all right now? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. No, what I was saying is that um, we have uh, folks that are listening online right now. And so um, based upon what you just shared with us, what would you say to someone who maybe 
thinking about making that decision to follow Christ, what would you say to encourage them? I would say what better what better friend to have than a friend in Jesus, someone that you know is going to, who has already been there for you. You're, you're looking for him and he's already been there. So what better friend to have, what better person, what better being to run to, to put your trust into, you know, we put our trust in, in, in man so many times and in, you know, so many things that, aren't, you know, of substance or of value, you know, and, and it lets us down every time. But I tell you one thing and one person who does not, and that is Jesus. And that is what I would tell that person. Oh, my. You know what? I think that if I weren't converted already, I think I might be in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe, my sister. I believe. All right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, I- I'm telling you, this is this already has been so much fun, but um let's let's move along a little bit. So, you know, you you grew up in a a, a wonderful household and you know, you went off to school, but Help our audience to understand what got you from that situation into the industry that you're in now. Oh, let me tell you, people. Uh, for those who have uh, graduated college and figured out, like I did, the hard way that you don't immediately go into your dream job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is what happened to me, okay? So it was a lot of, you know, I uh, I actually uh, picked up not long after I graduated, um, maybe like nine, ten months after. I don't know, maybe a little less, but I picked up and and I moved to North Carolina. You know, I I was like, I I had already been familiar with North Carolina going back and forth, and then, you know, my my then boyfriend, now husband, lived down there, and I was like, you know what, I need to change. You know, I was putting applications everywhere, nothing's coming, <laughs> so I picked up, and I went to North Carolina, and I got myself a little job because, you know, bills don't stop because you're chasing your dream. So I got no, myself a little job <laughs> and just and just praying every day and staying, you know, focused and you know, like I said, you sometimes you, you think you should be somewhere and God has other plans and that's exactly what happened it, with me in my situation. I just ended up you know, it's no coinky dink that I ended up meeting um Jerry Smith, you know, the the program director for the Light One Three Point Nine for right um Okay. for our station and I knew you know in that conversation that I was in the right spot immediately in and, and that right there I, I I know has to be divine intervention because you know I I had gotten this was one call and I got and I was like okay Lord please let this be it <laughs> <laughs> and uh after just Staying, you know, prayerful and and hardworking and and putting in my work, I was able to 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 land it in the in the industry that I that I was aiming to, which was the media and entertainment. Because I went to school for journalism and uh, communication, so you know, after that, I'm looking. I I was hoping to land somewhere in that realm, and uh, customer service wasn't it for me. So this, you know, when I actually <laughs> made it. It was I was uh, I was ecstatic I must say. That's exciting. So you know, since you brought up his name, um, how has Jerry Smith? How has he encouraged you along in your career? I'm going to give you an opportunity oh. to to really um, pump him up, pump the station up tonight. Oh yeah, how, yeah I was going to get some cool points. Point. I'm going to get some good brownie points right now. I'm, I'm trying to hook you up. I'm trying to hook you up. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> but, but no, Jerry has one thing about Jerry is everybody will tell you he's opened a lot of doors for a lot of people. You know, we run into artists all the time who are like, Man, Jerry played my song and when nobody was and that right there, it's it's really no no lie, you know, no cap like how everybody says. <laughs> no, it's none of that. Like it, he is literally the guy that is what he want to help you you know he wants to give you that opportunity and he's he's always like open to listening and and he's understanding and and giving a guiding hand like he I'm I'm truly blessed to have a, a mentor like Jerry he you know he knows how to pull you to the side like okay you know we're going to do we're going to do that a little better okay that that has potential <laughs> <laughs> and you know he he took me from you know uh, he helped me develop that craft from from someone who thinks they know what radio should sound like to someone mm. who's actually a professional and that I can't thank <laughs> him enough. Well, I can tell you right now, and um, I'm not just saying this to be saying it, but like I said, uh, I think when we started that um, I pretty much spent my whole day um, just uh, kind of preparing for our conversation tonight. And part of that was, uh, <laughs> hey, look, look, I had to make sure I know what I was talking about. But, um, right. you know, I got, I got a chance to go on YouTube and I, I looked at um, uh, some of the interviews that you have online. And um, I just think, it's really incredible for those who are listening. Um, there's actually a, a, a profession behind uh, doing uh, interviews and being on air, and there's a skill oh, yeah. that that goes with that. <laughs> and, oh yeah, um, yeah. Because you know, you think you in know, the beginning, like I, I thought it was just talking. You know, you just get up there and you just talk. You know, but it's a, it's right. a little. A little more uh, structure behind it. How about that? Yes, yes, and and I I've learned this the the hard way because I just kind of jumped into uh, this uh, this forum called podcasting, and um, um, I I was kind of introduced to it because I was a guest for uh, someone. And uh, th that someone uh, then invited me to end up doing this broadcast to to create this mm -hmm. broadcast and See? and when I look at some of the or listen better better say I listen when I listen to um, some of the earlier things, I cringe. It's like, oh my gosh, what was I, I doing? I know, it's so bad. When I see some of my <laughs> earlier stuff, I'm just like, oh, why did no one, <laughs> nobody sit me down and just say, this is not yes. it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. So, um, but I, I did get an opportunity. I, I checked out some of your work, I think from, I went back, I think, 2016 into 2017, 2018. Oh, man, you, you did some real research. <laughs> yeah, I'm a professional like you. <laughs> yes, you did your thing. I know that's right. That's right. That's right. Look, look, I didn't want you to come on here and thinking you were dealing with an amateur. <laughs> no, no, that's right. Oh, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that when you gave me the prep. I said, oh, okay, this, this, isn't, this isn't for play play over here. <laughs> no, no, shucks. So no, I'm just to be honest with you, and I'm just at, just for our audience sake, we are just having fun with this. But I I said um, when you have to interview the interviewer, you just want to make sure that uh, you have all your I's dotted and your T's crossed. Yeah, I got you. you know, I got you. I don't want to see <laughs> this experience that I will never work with him again. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no. Well, let me tell you, you are doing amazing. How about that? If just in case Amen. you want to. Amen. Hey, give me your cash app. I'll hook you up. Yeah, I'll tell you. Don't worry. I can make sure you get it before the show ends. <laughs>
<laughs> Amen. Well, look, um, so that leads to something else that I wanted to ask you because um, many people don't really have an idea of what it's like to be on a Christian station. And so why don't you give us a little insight as to what that means and maybe even give us a, a little bit of a tour of what a normal day for you is like. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, this, it just depends on the, the duty. Like uh, for one, I'm a producer also. So sometimes, you know, I help out Melissa Wade and I produce, you know, get up mornings with Erica Campbell, you know, or I used to produce Yolanda Adams morning show for the light. So, you know, I may yeah. have to get up. You got to get up right and early. Show starts at 6 a.m. with or without you, you know. <laughs> so you yeah. you got to be up and you got to get there. And when I first started, I was living over, well over an hour away from where I worked. So it, that should show you the commitment and grind getting up that early. But, you know, just <laughs> coming in and, you know, really just making sure you're, going with the flow of the show and and you're you're making sure the listener has it can hear it loud and clear because if if there's any type of silence on that show that is not supposed to be you don't want to get that call that's not the call that you want um but or if it's a a radio my like my show um uh, on weekends, sometimes I just come in and I like to make sure I'm in the best energy possible. So sometimes I make blast music before the show and like, you know, I make sure my door shut because I don't want to end up on nobody's like Snapchat, but I'm like dancing and just acting silly before <laughs> the show. Because if you're sleepy or you're lazy or you're tired or you're not in the mood, the listener can can feel that. You know, that's what people don't don't know. Like the the Jerry taught me that as well. You know, so when you're the people can hear a smile, they can they can hear a smile. You know, through the microphone, they know. Oh, you she's having a great day, or you know what, she wasn't feeling it today. So you know, I get myself in the right headspace and and make sure you know I, I pray or my I pray everywhere on my way to work in the car everywhere so I'm prayed up and I'm, I got energy and I just go and try to make someone's day a little better and that's what I love also about being with the inspiration station is the I also get to help I get the media aspect that I love, but we also are very embedded in the community. You know, we do so many, we link up with so many different organizations and and to really, you know, give back. And and I love that because people tend to think, you know, people think that you got, you got to be boring, you know, if you are, you know, saved or, or if you believe in God, you got to be, you know, you got to be, there's a, there's a textbook. Look, I'm a work in progress every day. I am, I'm aspiring to be the person that I know God wants me to be. And that right there, I know someone can find encouragement in, you know, every day. And that mm. is the beauty, I think, of, of being with inspiration station I get to share that with the people and be my fun crazy silly self and and everyone still knows you know what that's a that's a woman of God right there too you know that's right and you know as you were sharing one of the things that I have so enjoyed about uh, kind of stepping into this media kind of life now is that um it gives me an opportunity to just have a little more freedom to be able to chat with people that maybe I would have not had an opportunity to in other different kind of forums to mm-hmm. be able to present, you know, a Christian life that's not just about rules and regulations, but exactly. actually, yeah, you know, we're, mm-hmm. you know, you know, we keep talking about that there's liberty in Christ Jesus, but then so many times it seems like a lot of the things that we see are so locked into uh, a structure that, you know, it's like 
Well, where's the freedom? Yeah. Where's the fun? Where's the, the liberty? Exactly, and, all that? and that's what I and that's what <laughs> I like to base my shows around because I like I want people to know. Look, you can have fun. You guys still the center of your life. He's still the alpha, the omega, and you can still laugh and you can still <laughs> you can still listen to your music. You can still you know you just you have to know who you are. And and be solid in that, you know. And and I think sometimes we can, you know, as you know, people of God, we tend sometimes we can we can turn people off with the restrictions, and we don't represent our light doesn't shine the way we think we are, because we going around mm-hmm. being you know the the spiritual police, and I, I that's <laughs> I, that right there is something I got I got to speak <laughs> on. No, I, I hear you loud and clear. Um, and, and, you know, that's one of the reasons why um, the tone for this adoration program is one that even when we were just chatting before we went on air, it's like, hey, we're just having a conversation. We just want to show that, you know, two Christian people can just kick it and have a good time, laugh. We could cry. We can mm-hmm. praise. Mm-hmm. We can worship. We can do all that, and we're not limited, you know, to having to do it in a certain kind of format that, you know, we can take our creativity and we can make it whatever God wants it to be. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I always try to have people on that embody that liberty and freedom, hence why Mm -hmm. you are with us tonight. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, but let me get the let me get my whole thing out because I want to make sure you really understand this because when I was looking at the videos today, you know what I thought about more than anything else? It didn't have anything to do with your professional demeanor or technique or any of those kind of things. What I saw was a young woman who enjoys doing what she does. And like you said, it shows, you know, you know, in in whatever state that you have to get into to get to that place, I truly get it because I can tell you right now, uh, my ritual, if you want to call it that, is normally I take a nice warm shower if I can get one going Mm -hmm. and I actually kind of hide myself in a room and I got the fragrances going to just create the mm-hmm. atmosphere of peace and then, you know, let God do the rest. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I, I think I think in that way, you know, uh, when you're on air or when you're producing, you know, it, it, it comes through on air. And that's probably part of what makes the light. 103.9 FM Raleigh Durham that's probably what makes it so popular in not just that area but you know around the nation because of the uh presence of Christ throughout what you're doing behind the scenes oftentimes so again I just want to give uh honor where honors due and just say how encouraged I am in everything that you're doing uh, from a producing side of things, from the on-air things that you're doing, and also the community things that you're involved with. It is so exciting to just see you out and about. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And, and, you know, I'm out quite a lot these days. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I I love what I do, and I'm glad it definitely shows because it, it's the truth. And, and I wish everybody could, you know, feel this way. You know, I know you got to do what you got to do, but I'm a firm believer in no matter what age you are, no matter where you are, you got you to gotta go for the dream. You got to. Amen. 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 So again, for anybody who may just be joining us, this is the Adoration Program on When Christians Speak Talk Radio. We are honored and blessed to have with us tonight Tia LaVon, 
radio personality, producer, all that, and a bag of chips at the light hey. <laughs> 103.9 FM on your dial in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. Yes, yes, it yes, has yes. Been, <laughs> you know, it has been awesome talking with you, Miss Tia LaVon. Um, I wanted to just, yeah, I, I wanted to just uh, give you an opportunity to share with us maybe one interview or one meet and greet or something that really encouraged you, inspired you, or something that uh, you think that our audience may want to hear about? Oh, man. Uh, (laughs) Okay, well, I think I'm – like one of our major events, Women's Empowerment, um, Women Empowerment Expo, you know, every like spring we have a huge, huge event. Um, and one year it was like in the, the earlier part of, you know, I've, I've been at the light for like four years now and it's at the earlier part of my, um, my time with them. And I was on, uh, I was on the side of the stage, you know, you don't get as much, um, you don't get as much uh, stage time, actually, you know, in the beginning. Okay. So I was doing my doing my job on the side, and, uh, and uh, uh, Vivica Fox, the uh, actress, she was a part of a panel, well, a, a questionnaire, really, a, a discussion that she was having with women, being encouraging and just trying to give a few, you know, uplifting words to all the women out there. So. I ran into her and I was like, "Hey, hi, Vivica. Like, you know, how are you doing? I'm Tia Levon. I was like, you know, you look great. You know, and I'm just introducing myself, and I think that that's it. You know, so I she gets yeah. on stage and she sits down, and um, she turns and she says, "So no one's gonna ask me questions. I'm gonna just sit right here." And she looks <laughs> and says, "You." Where's that pretty girl I just talked to? And she's saying this in front of 9,000 people. She says, look, who's, where's, that, where's that little girl I just talked to? Tell her come on stage. And, again, like, you know, this is the beginning. Like, you know, you don't get a lot of stage time. And the producers and everybody, they're looking at me like, go ahead. You heard her. You know, the show must go <laughs> on. So I run on yeah. stage, and I got on my, my, my like, worker staff T-shirt. You know, I'm not prepared for this. So, But I get on stage. Stage, you know, the show got to go on, and I asked her these questions that the audience handpicked, and had a great interview uh, right there on my, my first major interview on us on stage at one of our major events. And right there, I knew, I, right right when I got off the stage, I was like, God, you and your favor have showed out today, okay? Mm, 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 mm. Amazing, amazing, <laughs> amazing. That is that is so incredible. And I'm sure that you have so many other stories to share. But oh, yeah. believe it or not, Tia LaVon, I'm looking at the clock. And no. can you believe, can you believe? <laughs> Already? I'm just saying, you know. We was, we were just getting to the good stuff. <laughs> so so you know what it is. So in in our industries, you know, you always want to leave them wanting more, which means that I've got to have you back on. Yay! Yes, yes, we have to do this again. We really do. Yeah, we really. We definitely will. We we'll, we'll we'll hook that up behind the scenes, but I did want to give you an opportunity um, to share with our audience how they can hear you, how they can um, connect to the station, if there are any uh, outreach and community events that you want to share, this is your opportunity. Oh, we got about uh, five minutes to do that. All right. Well, let me let me get my little. Well, one thing I haven't um I haven't officially announced. I mean, it's been going on, but I haven't like made a big deal about it. But now I'm officially on Saturdays as well as Sundays on the Light One Hundred Three Point Nine. So I'm just taking over okay. your whole weekend now. So okay. Saturdays. 
from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, you already know the vibes. It's the show, all positive vibes, all evening. Um, and, of course, Sunday, where it all started, the praise party, 7 p.m. to midnight. And on the light, 103.9, if you're not in the Raleigh, you know, Durham, North Carolina area, you can still listen. Just download our free app. It's the light 103.9. Okay, if you if you don't know how to download an app, I just showed my grandma had a video chat on Facebook. I know you can download <laughs> this app. Or on your phone and get some good inspiration in your life. Fun, fellowship, all that great stuff. Um, you can follow me, Tia underscore Levon on Instagram and Tia Levon on Facebook. But uh yeah, I'm I'm out there as a community. If you have an event going on, you can post it on our website, the dot com and let them know you want me to come out and I'll be there. But thank you, oh, Mac, my. for having me. Oh, man, it has been great. And you know what? So, I, you know, in the midst of you sharing all that, I surely forgot to mention some of the better news that's going on with you right now. So I'm going to just go ahead and spill it. Uh, our own Tia LaVon just celebrated not too long ago two years uh, of Wedded Bliss yeah. with Mr. Hill. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, September second. That was our two yes. year anniversary wedding anniversary and time is just flying. It, it really yes, is. And that's also I, my wife's birthday. Oh, oh well then I know she's a phenom a phenomenal woman. I know already. Oh she, she is, believe me. And I'm not just saying that because she's probably listening too, but no, for right. real. <laughs> <laughs> but then tell us about another little special package that came your way oh yes my little king my sire my baby boy <laughs> uh he'll he, he'll actually be seven months on the 19th so this week he'll be seven months and he just got two teeth and he's he said <laughs> mama before dad dad so me and my husband we, we're still you know he, he's still having a hard time adjusting to that but he <laughs> he is mama's baby <laughs> i'm telling you that's fabulous I, I meant to get that out earlier but um you know uh, i've been able to watch uh your family grow via facebook and instagram and you know it's just a beautiful sight again to to see how it all began you know, with um, your your mom and, and my cousin connecting, and that just connected us. And now with the, you know, the other family, the, you know, with Asia and, um, you know, all of that uh, in the mix, it is just so cool to be able to be yeah. daily updated on what's going on uh, with you and with others in our network. So, uh, Miss Tia Levon, I am actually out of time, but this has been fabulous. Yes, it has. Thank you again for having me. <laughs> we have to do yes. this again. We will. I promise you, we will do it again. Um, and uh, we'll get in because I, I didn't even touch half the stuff that I wanted to talk about tonight. I know. But, we were getting to uh, the good stuff. It felt like I, it. So we got to... <laughs> see? see? <laughs> Please see, part like two is going to be even better. It's going to be all that, for real. So, again, please give my love to the family. And, again, on behalf of When Christian Speak Talk Radio... We thank you tonight. And for those of you that are listening live, uh, we hope that it was something that you heard from us to encourage you and let you know that all things are possible through Christ Jesus. Tia LaVon, I love you much and thank have a great you. night. I love you. All right, you too. Bye. Okay.